game of Roy Hibbenia, Michaela Part and Thor Opry Giano, is on fine when in either Faravillian juice triac. I show we get hot and get a mark, animals and spores. So I was just leaving school, so I would have been about 18, and uh, my wee brother was uh, getting into mountain biking because it's really popular in Fort William, but I just didn't realise this. And then uh, I kind of just was intrigued by it and I kind of went along. And I was just borrowing a bike and I just, I don't even remember being like, right, I want to do this. It just happened. Like, I just started going out riding more. And I've always been into kind of like adrenaline kind of sports. And I think because I skied at a high level, I picked up the sport like quite quickly because I already had the balance and uh, the understanding. And like, I already knew like I'd like to go fast and stuff like that. So I just kind of naturally progressed. And within like a year, I got a downhill bike and I started racing and it kind of just went from there. <laughs> I definitely never started racing in the thought of like, I want to do this because I want to make money or like anything like that. Or even like to do it as my job, like it never really, I guess I maybe at the time didn't believe in myself enough that I could actually do that. And um, so I was just doing it alongside working. I was working still as a ski instructor, but also on like a high ropes course at Nevis Range. And then just like racing when I could and riding as much as I could. And uh, I did that for ages. And I even started racing World Cup, still working full time, uh, which was hard because I obviously wanted to train like the, the athletes that race the World Cups, but I didn't have uh, the time for it. So then to now be like full time, I'm just so grateful that I've got supporters and sponsors that are letting me do that. And yeah, it's great. <laughs> But that will be the next year to get his and father's work with Michaela. And as you see it hard, it has to get to the next year. And that will be the next year to get to the next year. So the first season for like World Cup racing was in 2019, which uh, in terms of seasons wasn't that long ago because 2020 we didn't have a season because of Covid. So 2021 was actually my first full season as well. Uh, so 2019 was, it was a great year but also just like such a big learning curve for me like it was really hard I was traveling mostly on my own and um, and I was still like young and I didn't have a clue what was going on I like was turning up to world cups not knowing it's not like the same as turning up to a Scottish round it was really really hard and like there was moments where I was kind of like I, I can't do this like this is just so difficult and and um, I don't think like not not everyone kind of goes through that stage because other people might have like parents that take them to the races or they might already be in a team at that time so uh, I wasn't I had never been a junior either so like I kind of went straight into elite and yeah it was I don't I don't think I actually qualified I didn't qualify once in 2019 I went to the races but um, I think I did five of them but I didn't qualify but I just tried my hardest and then had well, almost the whole of 2020 off racing because of covid but then uh, rode my bike as much as I ever have, and it really helped me. Chwiech nid Michaela sy'n coi gyfad a'i gwarpys yn y crynu sy'n oster, a'n y dafil ys ffeithyd. A per yr, pleis gyda sy'n y chyd reis y faithgau yn blyn y sy'n. Obviously, that was the first time I'd raced in 2020, because and that was in like October. So usually that's the end of the season, and we didn't race all summer. Um, I actually left in... March 2020 to go to a World Cup and it, my flight and the race got cancelled on the way because of Covid and then that was it once I went home we went into lockdown so like I ended up because I wasn't uh, working I ended up like riding my bike probably as much as I ever have and I had a home gym and then um, it was obviously a really awful time but I just tried to do what I could in that time and it I improved so much over that summer and then I obviously went away and October race and I just couldn't believe I'd come fifth because I mean I'd come off the back of 2019 I'd never even qualified so it was a bit mental and uh, then I went into two other World Cups which were good too and uh, yeah it was just a crazy time. Who is Michaela Koramarpish at Kupana Krinja Sadahi on Sigera San Naparai the Vlina a Kriachnachuk Sanoch Gavarche. Hainus Jafaska Makinchok so good finally like because it kept getting cancelled because of covid and like 2020 we obviously knew it wasn't going to happen but 2021 i thought it would and it didn't and um, 
so it was so nice to finally like have that experience although because it was cancelled for two years it almost the pressure build up was like so much just coming into the race like I'm actually really proud of how I dealt with it because there was a lot of pressure one with it being my home race because a lot of people have their home race which is just their country like I live in Fort Williams so it was literally my home race and like like all my family and friends are there and it was like quite hard at first to I almost avoided like talking about it with people because I was just like oh, I don't want to talk about it I'm just too nervous but uh, I dealt with it really well and yeah really pleased with my result yeah so good I started off really well uh, like it's always really hard after a off season to come into the first world cup and just not know where you're going to be like the first qualifying run it was just I was so nervous and I qualified 10th and I was just so happy like I couldn't believe and then I followed up with placing 11th in the final and I was just so happy with that because it just confirmed that like I am training it's working like I deserve to be here because definitely coming into the sport later I have struggled a lot with kind of confidence and wondering if I should be doing this because it, it does still feel so like weird to be there because I didn't grow up doing this and uh I think that confirmed it for me like no I do deserve to be here and uh, then I followed up with Fort William with an eighth place and that was just so good uh, so yeah really really good so far. Ha Michaela Mochchal e the Hulishian Hive Colonics of Driach agus a Jewi Gach Bulle is Servichus ha ha that is on Kumalora and the Vier Lesichus and Spars. I think obviously I've got a lot more I want to achieve and do and time left in the sport but uh, it depends on the day I think if you ask me sometimes I'm like ah <laughs> I don't know I'm in a bad mindset but at the moment yeah I'm proud of how far I've come and uh, anyone close to me knows that like how hard it can be and when especially when you're not on like a full team or uh, finding the support and also just like the highs and the lows of it and um, it can be really difficult so yeah so far I'm pretty happy with how I've gone <laughs> obviously I'm a racer I want good results like but um, I just really like to stay in the sport, like and race, and if I can help anyone else too, that would be great. Uh, I just really want to get better, on my, even better on my bike. Like it can always improve. No one can can't improve. So yeah, just hopefully keep improving and keep enjoying it. <laughs>